welcome back. Honored to have you for Meet the Penis. Today, we're going to have a talk about penile length. And we're going to talk about penile length, the what? Say it. Long and short. <laughs> the long and short of it. Right. That was Alfie. So I wanted him to bring that in. The long and short of penile length. So we're only going to talk about length right now. And the first thing that you need to know, and I've talked about this in previous, uh, previous MTPs regarding penile length, is most of us fit into this beautiful bell curve. And that bell curve is a very steep bell curve. And most of us have an erect penile length of around 5.5 inches, five and a half inches. Uh, I know everybody thinks they're seven inches, eight inches, but uh, the seven inch and plus, it's like one out of 30, uh, believe it or not, if you really look at the numbers. So penile length, you have to understand that most of us are pretty much right where we're supposed to be, at least from a, a, a breeding standpoint, okay? So people, all of us, all men, let's say men, would want to have longer penises. And uh, we're going to talk about where can you get some extra length and where don't you get extra length. Uh, the first thing I would like to talk about, and there was something that was out when I first got out about 22 years ago, and that was at cutting what's called the suspensory ligament so that your penis sort of drops further out. All right. Now, the, 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 you do have a visual appearance of a longer penis, but the problem is if you do that procedure, you, don't, you destabilize the penis. And so then you no longer have a physiologic erection used for coitus or having fun, whatever you're doing with it. So we really tried to push people away from uh, this uh, cutting of the suspensory ligament. Now, let's talk about the two types of length that you're looking for. Are you looking for locker room length or are you looking for a an actual erect penis? And uh, there's, some, there's a lot of stuff out there for increased locker room length. Uh, my advice is just take daily Cialis and you tend to hang a little bit further. Uh, but some of the other surgical techniques, I would run as fast as you can because it, it's just not worth it to gain that sort of length for a locker room appearance. So now let's talk about where do you get length in, in, in reality. And where you get length in reality is at the level of the fat pad. So if you happen to be, a, most like most Americans, have a little bit of excess fat on that fat pad above your penis, that is a place where you can gain penetrating length. And you can gain that penetrating length in many different ways. Uh, we have for years done liposuction of, of the mons. We're going to call it the mons, that fat pad uh, above the penis. And we will liposuction that mons and get rid of the fat. Um, there's also, for guys that are a little bit larger, you can do what's called a mons lipectomy. We actually cut this giant piece of fat, and some have been as big as footballs that you can get out of the way. But then you're left with that tummy tuck type of incision above your penis. But if that's the only thing you can do to get rid of all this excess skin, uh, that's actually a not, not a bad way to go. Um, it, recently, we've delved into the uh, arena of cool sculpting, where you actually freeze that fat pad. Now, this is an off-label use of a wonderful, well-studied technology. But basically, all we're doing is getting rid of the fat pad that's above the penis with, with, uh, with this cool sculpting technology. So if you feel like your penis could use some extra length, you can diet. And I always say for every 20 pounds, that's about an inch to a half inch, a half inch to an inch of extra penile length. You can try liposuction. You can try a mons lipectomy. You can try this cool sculpting technique. Uh, that, that's something that we are definitely getting into. But don't, don't feel bad. Understand that most of us live right in the middle of that bell curve and you're going to do well in your adventures in bed. And um, we look forward to the next episode where we will talk about penile girth. So have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.